so you're dead, you're in hell, it's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one <laughs> thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell. And provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money, but then someone upstairs finally realized we don't really have an economy down here. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles, the uh, conurbation where everyone gets tortured during punch-in. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call Nowhere. And it's hmm. what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. That's that's lava, by the way, right? Which would make taxi drivers essential. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. I don't think we can swim in lava. Hey, I played water polo in gym class voluntarily, okay? Milo and I can egg beat her like our lives depend on it. I'm sure you can, Lola. I'm, I'm sure that if you were on the Titanic, we'd have a lot more Polish people today. <laughs> but things are a little different here, so just do what I say and stay out of the river. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first an izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. Bludgeoning? First an izzard? Why is it called first an izzard? How the hell am I supposed to know? Why is New York called New York? Oh it's my named god! After the Duke of York? Oh, thanks, Brainiac. Why don't you lecture us on what a rhetorical question is next? Look on the Wait, right. Why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. Hey, hey! Sam! Sam! What? Did you. Did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and shares next. <laughs> Get some better material. Wow! Wait, they're alive. Is this their punishment? They look very human. Uh, okay. Or do they like power the street lamp? Because it seems like there is one in every street lamp. Huh. Oh, whoa. Oh my god, people are just flying overhead. Gorgon Disco! Hello? Um, what are you guys eating? Uh, no, whoever he was, he tastes like a prick. Oh god. <laughs> well, what are you eating it over? A pile of corpses? Oh god, okay, no, no, no. <laughs> Welcome to nowhere. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. <laughs> this is the slum district of hell. But apparently people fix horns here. Not a problem that we have to face, thankfully. Spirits. Like the ghost kind or the alcohol kind? Schoolyard strangler. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Bad vibes at Izzard. Also, my ass won't stop itching. Hi. How's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Oh, God. Okie smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. Just kidding, you can drink for free, cause we're in hell. So we're oh. gonna be all right in there, right? Sure. Just, uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. Does anything cost money here? So? Whenever you're ready. The door is just right here for entry into the first bar of your magical adventure. Yeah, but what about this? Where we can drink and talk more. She's doing that thing again. And everything will progress. Okay. You, um, okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Well, that's... None of our business, I guess. Do we want to care about other people in hell? Probably not. Maybe it'll just bring more trouble on myself. 
Okay, I see there's nothing else here. You really want me to go inside? Ooh. Well, we're gonna have to stay here for an eternity, supposedly, so might as well get it over with. Here goes nothing. It looks like a church. There's a giant bell on the top. A bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? What? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it me. isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are you? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Forneus. Forneus, this is Milo and Lola. Hello. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. We looked adorable at the person pound, okay? She was powerless to resist. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Uh, wait, are you leaving me here? Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we... We didn't want to get into it earlier, but we we actually want to try and get home if uh, if that's okay. Yeah, all right, that's uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we we can get into it in a bit. Just uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. We never got a chance to get into it, but there were multiple chances for me to say, "Hey, this is a mistake. We shouldn't be here." Cornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a uh, Tommy's death day party. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, see you up there, kids. Oh, all right. Death day party. We don't celebrate birthdays here. Uh, hello, everybody. We're new. Apparently, drinks are free. Would be nice for us to get a drink now. Um, excuse me, bartender. Do you have, like, uh, a menu? Or... Okay, okay. Give me a second, miss. A woman ordered a bitter lemon drop, and I'm trying to remember if I got any eggs. Come back in a minute. Whatever. Let's just go upstairs with Sam, Lola. Okay. <laughs> you guys acting like such a big shot. You guys even drink regularly? We can't leave. Oh, I like those lights. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Wow! Tommy boy, the man of the hour! <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here! I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> I don't want to wear it. Get him to invite us up, yes, let's get a drink. Oh, you guys are way ahead of me. I was thinking we should say our name is Tommy. Which wouldn't work anyway. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. <laughs> oh, God. Too bitter. Hey, uh, Tommy. Or, uh, uh, Thomas. I, I should probably... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. I don't know. We don't like parties very much to begin with. It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont? I'll still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. Yeah, we're not staying sober. And... Um, sure. Our livers are unkillable. Might as well take advantage. Wow, really? Guys, you should be honored. Lola is not the type for spontaneous, uh, revelry. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Whoa, look at that cup. It's different. It's like a hell cup. Uh, Lola, the drink's not good. I'm drinking, I'm drinking. Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? 
Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Yes, it could be said that you are now unshackled from previous concerns of societal appropriateness. Hey, you're right. Feels kind of weird. Like I grew an extra toe. You'll get used to it. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Uh, sure you are! Jim Jum! <laughs> Idiot well, demon. I called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? At night? <laughs> yeah! You really sh Hey, dickhead! Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off. Jesus, you you don't have to raise your voice at me. Sorry. I know when I'm not wanted, I can I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. T -t Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? <laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Uh, can you, do you want to party some more upstairs in your party? Crap. We should, we're missing our chance, we should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs to Sam and uh, her info. Um, yeah, but we should probably get a drink first. Don't have to twist my arm. Uh, barkeep? What's uh, on the menu this tomorrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Oh, bloody stool, jeez. Flirty floozy, rye whiskey absinthe, cat oil and rose petals, hurts more on the way out. <laughs> yeah, that's where the name comes from, I imagine. Famous last words, prison bully, methanol, colored solvents with a touch of sugar, slightly more enjoyable than death. Mm -hmm. The Great Amathian, vodka, horse blood, demon rash, a favorite of Alexander the Great, liquid courage. Pair of anguish, liquid courage, originally crafted by Leopold II, served over ice in a pint glass, digestion aid. So both of these are liquid courage, this one's prison bully, I'm guessing this one makes you angry, and flirty floozy would help with getting in and wearing bunny costumes. <laughs> um, yeah, even the color is a bit of an indication, right? These two colors were the colors that we've seen for the alcohol bubbles up until now for the dialogue. So let's try something a little bit different then. How about the flirty floozy? Uh, uh, the, uh, the, the last one. One there. bloody stool coming up for Milo here. He wants a big oh God. bloody stool. <laughs> Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. But stools always turn me into a hypersex uh, floozy. Eh? Don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. Is Satan your boss? It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you what? once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just... Egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Ugh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> <Hey>. Okay. <laughs> well, the drink we have right now is not really the right one for egging people on. But maybe we can do it without the drink. I don't know. We'll see. Or are there other options? Get drink. Tommy walked over here, right? Hey, fellas. Beer pong, huh? Uh, my my dorm room was next to the guy who won his league tournament. That's awesome. You know what would be even more awesome? If he could stop talking and never start again. Whoa. Hey, now. Artesia's consumer of negligent fathers. That's not cool. Milo, right? You want to play around? It's really simple. <laughs> 
Easy to learn, hard to master, right? <laughs> hey, tell your friend to shut his sweet, wet mouth before I take him out back and give him an education in manners. Yeah, school's in session, so don't be late. He doesn't like writing tardy slips. Oh, this makes no what sense. What are you gonna do about you if I don't? Artesius, come on now. <laughs> no, I want to hear it from the big man. Come on. I can't tell if it's your hideous face or your trash heap musk, but you're getting me all hot and bothered over here. <laughs> well, I can't tell if this is intimidation or if you're trying to take me out for an awkward coffee date. Both. Yeah, neither can I. Want to <laughs> splash some water on your face? Let's just play. Come on. Lola, okay. You and me, bright eyes. I'm going to wreck you. Lola, do you want to, uh, to play? Or we can both flirt with him. Now we'll have one sane person here. Uh, yeah, sure. Might as well learn blood pong while I can still say <laughs> I'm new. Gather round, everyone. This chickadee thinks she's a rooster already. Well, I eat people who eat roosters for breakfast. Ooh. Hey, all right. You make more well-wishers with honey than with vinegar. <laughs> no, it's okay, guys. We really pride ourselves on our ability to trash talk down here. It's like, even if you lose, if you got in a few verbal jabs along the way, a few witty rejoinders. Yeah, should take your shot, shithead. Or we can just call each other names, you know, whichever's faster. I'll have you know I'm a certified competent mammal or whatever that demon called me. <laughs> oh, are you chicken now? No. Should we bring out the oven? Get a roast going. Just trying to think. Just trying to think. This is really close. Throw the fucking thing. If I could feel bad about anything, I'd almost feel that for you. Is that too close? Don't miss. Fuck. You can do it. <laughs> I think I'm trying to get the ones further away from me, right? Because that makes no sense yeah. that I'm trying to do it so you close. You already threw your life away, so you should be in practice. Boom! First you graduate clown college, now this. There we go. That one disappeared. Um. See that? I can tell you're going for some kind of look, dude, but I don't know if you know how far you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Upset him. Well, they're forcing me to drink. <laughs> I had to finish drinking before they would give me a new one. Come on, Lola. Which angel's Boom. arse did you tickle for that one? Look, I'm really sorry you look like that. But losing to me isn't gonna help. <laughs> I even gave you a head start. Oh! Fuck this! Picture victory, and victory will be yours. I gave you a head start by aiming for the wrong one to begin with. Now it's gonna be hard, though. Ah, you'll get it next time. Well, we got a few chances. I don't have to aim straight for the cup, because it might bounce in there, too. <laughs> oh, I'm forcing myself to drink a little. Just throw the thing in the thing, Lola, and you'll have done what you should. Ah! Oof, close. I want to shit talk some more, please. No, no, no. Miss! Yeah! <laughs> Eat my shit, goddammit. Lola, I think you're up. We're tied right now. Why are you being so sore? Uh. Ah! A little bit too close. Enjoying no! this, yeah. God damn it! Boom. What did I tell you, huh? Humans are good for two things. Beating them in beer pong and eating their babies. Go do your job and eat a dick, buddy. <laughs> I was going to on the way home. What do you think about that? <laughs> all right, all right. The kid's still a hoop, right? <laughs> Sneak up on a mirror. Oh, come on, she's a howler. I'm inviting them, all right? Eh, uh, they're goofy looking enough. You guys want to hang out more? I'm throwing a little party upstairs. Just tell the big guy your name, and I'll put you on the list. 
Awesome. Thanks. All right, thanks, man. You're awesome. Let's go get Sam before he looks at us again and changes his mind. <laughs> Need a drink? Got one. I'm good. Okay. I don't know how well this flirty drink is gonna treat us, but <laughs> maybe we should have flirted with him instead of being so antagonistic, because that was hilarious. Uh, do I have to refill my drink? Uh, two grave robbers. What kind of whiskey? Well, if I knew I would get the third degree, I wouldn't have even bothered. What can I get you? Let's try famous last words. This one's gonna get us angry, though. I don't know if that's... I think it's gonna get us angry. Prison bully. <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather stick with the flirty one for a little bit more, if that's okay. But maybe... Liquid Courage. Great Amethian sounds good. Fills you with equal parts drunkenness and a strong desire to conquer things. This one's very small. The capacity. I don't know if that actually affects how much we can take. Alright, thanks. Did you have a name, by the way, bartender? I don't know if I missed it. So we could have. Oh, I'm Milo now, right. We could have done this part or the beer pong. Either or. <clears throat> Forget something. Good sir, I believe we're on the list. Your parents must be proud. At least I'm not the bouncer here. <laughs> we'll save the drink. Thank you. You're welcome. We're in. We're this, in. Uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, but what do you do? The, the guy we were... That's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Oh! Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Oh, my God. Never caught, though. But, but he was... He was so nice to us. Yeah, you can't really slaughter a litter of boys in total anonymity without a few social graces. Yeah, that's... Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Well, it's not like anybody could kill us even more, so... It doesn't matter if we're mean or nice hey, to people. Hey, thanks for, for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. It feels a lot shorter. And longer, you know? Oh, definitely! Was uh, Companius not able to make it? I thought I saw him check yes on the evite. He wanted to, he really did, buddy. <laughs> it's stupid, but he's gained so much weight recently. You're kidding me, that's not- No, that's not the reason. He, uh, he actually joined a gym, if you can believe it. And he didn't want to lose on the free days they give you for signing up. I guess they expire in like a week. So he had an extra week? Or less than a week, I don't know. You'll have to talk to him. Well, I'm just disappointed, that's all. Yeah, maybe he's not a people person and didn't want to hang out with like 20,000 people at the party here. Yeah! Happy death day, Tommy! Serial killer of 13 little boys. Oh god, okay. Uh, I think I can drink whenever I want. But I don't think it makes sense to drink unless if we're near dialogue, right? So I'll keep it for now. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Farney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? We sort of made friends with Thomas, the night scalper Tulaney, so... Yay! Lola here lost to his buddy in Blood Pong, but talked such good smack he invited us up. Wow, I'm impressed. You're a little old for Delaney. You know, but with Milo's head of hair, I can I can see the appeal, actually. <laughs> hey! We're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously <laughs> died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour, or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. 
You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. <laughs> we were the scribbled in margins and God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Oh, so hell's terrible. Is that what you're saying? Why am I not shocked? I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that's stayed around. And Satan has a standing offer to anyone that wants to try. You outdrink him, you outparty him, you earn his respect. He opens the door and lets you go back home. Hmm. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Okay, well, has anyone ever, like, done it? Oh, sure. I mean, not since... When was Buddha farting around again? 500 years before Christ. Okay, well, there you go. And I think there was a velociraptor before him. Okay, so, yeah, okay. Um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Thank now, you. if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go. All right. You know, when Lola said we've been here for roughly an hour, we actually have been here for roughly an hour. Kind of a cool little thing. Uh, I don't know how old Satan is, but we do have age on our side in terms of trying to out-party and out-drink him. But we are not the most social of creatures. We don't have the most social graces, so I'm a little bit worried about that front. But we all start somewhere. Even if we're technically in nowhere. Alright, thanks, Sam. I'll see you around. Like, oh, you just gonna talk? Go outside? Hey, where's that shit talking demon? Do you wanna, like, do something still? No beer pong? Hell pong? Okay. Well, we still have a drink with us. <laughs> I didn't really feel like shit talking Sam since she's kind of our friend and all. So we didn't get a chance to uh, drink it. Have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but I feel like I'm always strangely getting involved in random folks' deaths. So, if you're a ferryman, woman, uh, how do you get assigned that particular job? Is it like 6th grade PE where you sign up on a clipboard and hope you don't get square dancing? Wait, you didn't like square dancing in gym class? No! <laughs> I don't like square dancing in gym class. I would, are you joking? What? Anyways, demons are born to do what they do. It's called versification. Dog roll. It's written in their souls, conscripted since the angels came. The angels, like Lucifer, they changed everything. Satan's an angel? The angel. Anyway, my ride's just up here. Okay, well, thanks for taking us around, Sam. Really appreciate it. She's probably been the nicest person to us so far. Thinking about rebooting Mash with some demon pals? Keep your eyes peeled for Monster Mash. Oh, I was just wondering about where you've been. Uh, Wormhorn? Hey, my skin sponsors. The guy that thinks everyone cheated on him. And the gal that thinks she's gonna run a mid-level ad agency one day. Reach for the stars! It's high-level ad agency. Having a good adventure so far? I'm just about to clock in. Just wanted to, wanted to let you know. Just so you're aware, I'm really excited to hit the ground blazing. 
Uh-huh. And uh, what does that mean again exactly? Oh, uh, it means I'll be popping up here and there to mentally and spiritually agonize you. T- to the best of my ability, of course. <laughs> I'm still new. Oh, you're I'm new too. Demons are like mayflies or, or like uh, dime store gossip kids. They flare up like fireworks from the Korea Imaginativa. The, 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 the pits of, you know, Unus Mundus. But they can only hurt you if you know you're you're too poor to afford therapy, yeah. which we are. It's hard, okay? Animals, uh, plants give demons something to work with. Most organisms fear being eaten or not dying quickly enough while being eaten, but humans are afraid of like not making money or dying before using a sex swing. Like, you people get nervous when you see a car drive on the sidewalk. How, how am I supposed to work with that? Well, good luck. I'll try to act really, uh, sad or whatever when you show up with a picture of my favorite dead ants. Oh, come on. I think we could do a little better than that. Anyways, I'll see you around when you least expect it. <laughs> oh, quick reminder. Crowds. Against them. Y- you didn't like them, right? Mm, whatever. I'll look at my notes. Bye! Oh, are, are you gonna put a bunch of crowds in my way? So that guy, or, um... That Missy can only be seen by us and other demons. Sam's a demon, so she could see her, but other people here can't. Wait, so what's the difference between a demon and a human? The demons also die here because they did something bad? All right, Sane's place is on Welkin Way. I figure you want to get there spittily lick if you're itching to get home before your oatmeal cools. So, uh, whenever you're ready, we'll head over. Do you want to be nervous again and... No? Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's meet, uh, Lucifer. Spoken like a true necromancer. Next stop, Welkin Way. All righty. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> 